For centuries, men have been baffled by his strange visage. Today, we will reveal his secrets. I'm here with Johan Snow Leopard, who will be teaching you how to show, I mean, draw his face. Johan! Good afternoon, kids. Dan is a strange one, isn't he, Colin? He's very strange. He's a strange one. And somewhat difficult to draw. Very difficult to draw. The secret is, as always, begin with the eyes. As every artist knows, you should always begin with the eyes, no matter what. We begin with great oval eyes, not as close together as with Seb or the Piva. Be sure not to sketch in any underlying structures. There we go. And you give the pupils looking down. That's just right. We will begin with glasses. Glasses greater than his eyes. Not that great. Those are some long specs. Some long specs. Don't put them in there. Don't put them in there. That's okay for now. But Johan, how can they be glasses unless they're connected to each other? At the moment, they're just two monocles. That's true. Solved. Okay. We now begin with eyebrows. He has long eyebrows like that. One longer, like, higher up than the other. Overlapping slightly, if you like. Overlapping slightly, yes. And then we begin with the famous nose. Nose? That's not a nose. Dan doesn't have a nose. That's what makes him look like Dan. He doesn't That's have true, a nose. he doesn't have a nose. <coughs> oh, it's easy to forget, but Dan doesn't have a nose. <laughs> yeah, you know, you look at him and you, do, you don't even notice. He doesn't have a nose. But he, look, he doesn't have a nose. What he does though is to have a round face, but even a slightly oval face. So tell me, Johan, if Dan doesn't have a nose, how does he smell? Well, that's the beauty of it. I don't think he does smell. Or maybe he smells too... You're supposed to say terrible. T terrible, kids. He smells terrible. <sighs> and then we go for the mouth. It's a, it's a peanut mouth. And it's... Position in the center of his bottom of his face between the glasses. You know, it's shaped like a monkey nut, still in its shell. With a line in the middle, like that. That's perfect, Aaron. Now let's move on to the detail. How to make a good Dan? Well, it's the hair. It's always going to be the hair. The interesting thing about Dan is he only has hair on one side of his head. That's what it looks like. Lots of strings. Draw them quickly, you know. That's right. Add as many as you like. It doesn't matter. It's good. And the second detail, beard. Dan has a very stubbly beard. He uses lots of little marks to build up his facial hair, you know. You really gotta go all over with it. Well, not all over, it's actually just the bottom half. In a way, you can separate it out into the top hemisphere, containing the hair, the eyes. And the bottom hemisphere, containing the mouth, and the stubble, represented by these marks. Johan's just finishing up here. That's it. That's it. There's a perfect run. That's Dan. It's a perfect Dan. You know what makes him easier is that he doesn't have a nose. Now let's show you close up. Someday you can be just like Dan. <laughs>